privet hedges at Sanford Stadium are as old as the stadium itself, dating back to the first game played here in 1929. Kickoff from Athens, Georgia is next. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. has the ball set how he wants it and we're just about ready to kick this game off folks excellent kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive five wide and it's caught and he's brought down quickly From their own 29-yard line, second down. Six yard line. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination to get it. From their own 36 yard line. First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Tackle made at the 45. That brings up second and one. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Well, it's a first down here, and I love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or at times running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hand. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's tackled at the 50. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here they come. He's wrapped up for the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Fourth and long here after the sack. Bell, the return man. He really got a hold of that one. Knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. The Bulldogs right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. Second and 10, ball on the 26. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. That's a game one on the play. That'll make it 39. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gold after a decent pickup. 
That's not going to move the sticks. Yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting him get into any kind of rhythm. Booming kick. Oh, he got nailed on that one. George is loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll make it second. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. at the 47-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. First and 10, ball on the 47. Caught. He's at the 40. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's at the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice run there as they work the outside. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Nice run up the middle. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Williams is back to receive. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And they push him out around the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line. 
Second down. Oklahoma is up by a touchdown. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. First down. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at about the 35. From the 35 yard line, first down. Runs left and quickly taken down. That makes it second and ten. That's a great tackle at the 32-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. He lets it go. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down, getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. Oklahoma is hoping to make this a two-score game. It has the distance, and he got it. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oklahoma's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 39. Zips it to the back. That's a loss of two yards on the That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 37. He wants it all. And he hauls it in. Out of bounds at the 25. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. And he is drilled at the 23. Man left, man left. Gives it up the gut. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Here's the handoff, and he's brought down right away. And 
And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Georgia is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He fights forward to about the 26. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Oklahoma is up a score. Gets to about the 27-yard line. in here in quarter number two. Bell is back awaiting the punt. And this one is a beauty. He's got the corner. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle around the 48-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. He hits him hard at the 40-yard line. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He's tackled in the backfield. Loss of one yard. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. And they got it. The defenders played the snap count. Perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good. like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. Pick up on 10, 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oklahoma holds a four-point lead. Tackle made at the 20. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 20. There's a strike complete. He's down. That makes it 37. and it's almost picked off. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Bell waiting the return. Oh, excellent punt. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 48-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Feeds it to the back. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. That makes it second and 10. From the 49-yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it third and three. Wide receiver screenplay, and he's taken down around the 29-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. the stop at the 32. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. And so it's another third down upcoming here. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he might want it all here and does. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma is up one. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. What about a big play by the defense? He can't hold it. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Fires 
quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Nice yardage on the run back. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Once and all, going deep. And it's picked off. It's the safety. And the safety's all alone, and no one's going to catch him. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. From the 45-yard line, first down. Oklahoma with a one-point lead. Here comes the pressure, and he's level at the 47. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Hands it to the back. Brought down at the 48. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. He punts. No, he won't. Into double coverage, and that's going to be picked off. And he's taken down at the 36. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 36. in the open and he's tackled the 33 yard line it's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air they'll spread the field with five wide Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 12. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Go, 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 go. 
Touchdown, Bulldogs. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he converts the extra point. It was a five-play, 64-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You, know, you could throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. Corson is lined up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He's taken down at the 41. From their own 41-yard line, first down. They get nice yardage on that run. A gain of about four yards on the draw. The Sooners taking their first time out of the half. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Quick throw. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gained, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Bell is the deep man awaiting the return. He takes it at the 12, and down he goes at the 21. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. And he's tackled after positive yardage. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 26-yard line. Georgia with a six-point lead. Four, easy, easy. Two, Go. Go. And he tackles him hard at the 34. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. He's brought down in the open field. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's going to air it long. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT.
we played a half of football here. Georgia's got a 13-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. It is my job to come in and rain on a parade. I know, every, I know everything's gone right. I know they have all the momentum. I know that every little detail of the game plan has gone exactly as scripted. But but <laughs> overconfidence, too happy, too satisfied. How big a problem is that in the second half? But you always you always have the excitement coming into the first half of a ball game, and you think it's going to be close when teams like this are evenly matched. But that doesn't mean you can lose your edge. That doesn't mean you can get complacent. A lot of times we see passion and energy in the first half, and it starts to wither away. they got to make sure that they keep the energy up, continue to make plays, don't think that, you, that you're there because we've seen momentum switch like that. As soon as somebody flips a switch, it's hard to get it going back in the other direction. So you got to take advantage of these opportunities. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. He's out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 29. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. some room. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds at the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. That makes it second and 10. Tackle made at about the 49. Call it again at two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 45. Williams is back deep to return. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second and six. Ball on the 24. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the 26. 
Imperial. Bell, back to return it. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He's tackled at the 30. Well, that was a great punt, and there was even better coverage on the return. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Makes the catch, and look out. Good open field tackle. Four yards gained. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From the 47-yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Deep ball, laying it out there. Almost intercepted. Number 15 on the coverage. Fourth down. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And they make the stop at the 31. Game of 11 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. The halfback with a carry. Heading for the corner. Nice gain as he works the right side. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down around the 48-yard line. First down. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down right around the 34. That makes it first and 10. From the 34 yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Fires 
Rodgers, incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 20 yard line, first down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. So the sack makes this a second and long. They come out in an empty backfield. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. He heaves it to the end zone. Incomplete, almost picked off. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. It has the distance, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The Sooners' defense, I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they look early in this game. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Tackled after a decent pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Nice run there. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 46. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Up the middle for a nice game. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Got a man in and out of his hands. That makes it fourth and four. Thorson wants to pin these guys deep, and you got to think he'll be looking coffin corner on this one. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And a quick throw. Good open field tackle. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. He launches one for the end zone. No, incomplete. That ball had interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. It's the ninth play of the drive. Dog four. 
catches it, and that's all. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. They're about four yards away here on third down. He'll get the call again. Nice run to the outside. This is the 11th play of this drive. Makes his way out to about the 15. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Slings it. Touchdown, Georgia! And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 12-play, 78-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 30-13. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle at the 33-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Georgia's lead is 17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Makes the grab and out of bounds. Roberts picks up about four yards with a catch. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. From their own 37-yard line, first down. That's a great tackle at the 30-yard line. Caught with room to work. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. Number six brings him down at the 40-yard line. That makes it third and seven. It's third and seven. Ball on their own 40. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Watch out here. He's tackled right around the 50. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. He fights forward to about the 49. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Down he goes at the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Roger, Roger. 
Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he hits him hard at the 26 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 26. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That makes it first and goal. And this is the 12th play of the drive. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him second and goal. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. And they make the stop just outside the goal line. From the one-yard line, third down. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's taken down right around the four-yard line. Second down, tough spot here, deep in their own territory. They're packed in tight on the line. Brought down around the four yard line. Gets to about the five-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Williams fields it at the 48. He got hit hard. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And he's leveled at the 47-yard line. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a game of five on the way. That'll make it third and 13. Let's go. 
Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Throws, and it's incomplete. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Three down, three down. Mike seven. Mike seven. He fights forward to about the 46. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it third and seven. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue 20. to the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 47-yard line. Number seven on the tackle at the 47-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. For Georgia, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. Good pass rush by these guys today. The contributions from this defense is one reason they've got the lead. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front. The veteran offensive line, see what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. A little over a minute in the game. Got it, and brought down immediately. Out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. to the running back and he pulls in another one and he's tackled at the 43 the Sooners will use their first time out of the half and he makes it out to about the 44 yard line Oklahoma is going to have to use their second time out of the half it's second and nine ball on the 44 down after a nice run up the middle. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looks quick to his tight end and he can't hang on.
Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he tackles him hard at the 34. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Deep pass to the end zone. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Tenth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He goes out of bounds at the 30. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. We're at the 12th play of the drive. They need to convert down here and end their red zone woes. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. Spikes the ball. It's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's got an opening. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Just throws this one away. This one's in the books, and our final score, 30-13, Georgia. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.